You want to fix your mental health? Just start fighting. I don't know everything about it, down to the bleeding, the pain, the smell. You know that cool feeling you get after a run and you sweat a lot and it feels like everything paid off? That feeling right there, that's meditation. I think the only time is I really have panic attacks is when I haven't been fighting in a while. I was, I was so down to just record one. And then, and then Papa became my Yo, I know that's what he's going to do. <laughs> you know when I walked in, in the room? Yeah. I pre-turned it on and went to the game just so right after this I could hop. <laughs> no, that's fucked. What are you playing? 2K. Because you know like when you get like the stages where you're not really that good, but you're really getting good at the game? You're like grinding. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like right there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, well, I can't blame you, fam. Yeah, like everybody has yeah, their fun. Everybody, you know has I mean? their fun. everybody has their fun yeah. stuff. Like, to be honest, if you think about it, playing games is still good for your brain because as, as long as like you're still working shit, yeah, and you're trying to like process the best games to play, yo, you know elderly people, they actually Sudoku. yo, <laughs> they keep their they keep their mentality and they keep their their brain going yeah. because they play stuff. Facts. And a lot of them like there's some there's some like older folk on on tiktok and shit mm -hmm. yo they're straight up playing like minecraft Word. some of them are playing fortnite you hear about the the camper camper dad oh yeah the with the honey butter the yeah. fresh bread with the honey butter i love yo if i was his kid bro i would be so happy to have him as my dad bro. yo he's popular too yeah i know this guy's <laughs> fucking popular but they said like if you end up scrolling on tiktok at night and mm -hmm. you see one of his videos it's like one of those things oh i think you're talking about somebody else huh the guy that playing battlefield Oh no, what the heck? I'm talking about the honey butter guy. Who's honey butter? The guy that goes with his um his son and he camps with his son. Maybe that's what wait. I'm talking about Fortnite camping. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I thought you were talking about real camping. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. No, okay, so there's this there's this old guy uh -huh. that plays Fortnite and he's like on the top leaderboards in the what world the hell? of Fortnite, Fortnite ranked. Uh -huh. But what he does. He chooses the skin that's like a bush. It looks like a bush. Yeah, yeah. He just camps in a bush like all game. Oh, yeah. I've seen him on TikTok. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, I have seen this guy too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yo, just recently. He got a win, a lie? No. He got nerfed. Why? So you know how you know how Fortnite they just changed like the new um the circle? Yeah. And it and it, it like at the very end it like spawns different different areas. Okay, yeah. And also um how there's like the medallions he didn't know what that was yeah, yeah. so he started losing bro he's oh, like wait this wasn't in last season but bro it like broke my you heart because yeah, you can tell where a person is with a medallion yeah it kind of it okay. kind of broke my heart because i'm like damn yeah he, he was winning he was winning they nerfed him facts now nah, tiktok live though is getting really weird because it's like i've seen also a streamer where he would have like um because people stream on on tiktok to for growth yeah right because t uh, twitch you can't like grow naturally yeah, there yeah. right so one girl set up a cam of her in mm -hmm. the middle. On the top is her Fortnite gameplay, and on the bottom, fam, is is her feet. There's a feet what cam. The so fuck? she would, she would, people would be like commenting, "Oh yeah, yeah look at so, so when she's While excited, she's, she's like, yeah, oh, she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she's shooting, she starts curling that shit up. Yo, <laughs> that's yeah. actually kind of smart, but it's sad to see society go down bad like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's sad really to see us go down. Yo, mm -hmm. I think. The problem is, is because it's like, it's so in front of us and it keeps working regardless. Yeah. So how do you stop going down a path you when can't. mans don't want to stop? It's brain rot, bro. That's why like the video games thing is good because if I wasn't playing video games, I would be scrolling on TikTok. It's just br rotting my brain. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think, I think there's a positive thing as long as like you're on the right side of it. You know what they took out and I was kind of cheesed? What? They used to have like a, a learning a learning option on TikTok. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, mm -hmm. like there was an option you can hit and it would just only be learning content. Yeah, yeah. But they took it out. Now it's so crazy. It's like they, they incorporated, you know, the the when you put up the comments mm -hmm. and then there's like a suggestion if you want to to learn more about it. Oh, really? But yeah, but it's usually just like, say there was a video of like... um. Say, uh, what's that girl from um, uh, Stranger Things? Uh, Millie Bobby. Millie Bobby. And there's any video for her. You put the comments up and then the next search is Millie Bobby ass. Or it's like Millie Bobby. Whoa, yeah. Oh, because it shows the search. Yeah, there. so it's like, what do, what do you want to search after? Yeah. And, it, and it's it, always sexual. It's I know. It's always, sexual. It's so always uh, recoil or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billie Eilish. 
recoil or something. <laughs> yeah, it's always something like that, bro. Yo, I remember remember I told you the Kellogg's theory? Uh, it's not even a theory. This is true. Okay. How how Kellogg's cereal was made to make people stop masturbating? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Yo, that now. Yo, so there's another product. There's another food that what? was invented to make us stop masturbating, fam. What? Graham crackers. Graham crackers? Yeah. So what? there's this guy. I forgot his exact name. It's something Graham. But <laughs> yeah, that's the latest name. That's the latest name. But he invented, he invented like a diet uh-huh. to stop. So this was his thing. At the time, I think this is when like smoking started becoming so popularized mm. and drinking became a really bad problem. So he had to invent something that's like, damn, what can I do to to make people stop urging to do things, right? Yeah. Including yeah. masturbation okay, and okay. shit. So he made this thing called the graham cracker. And the graham cracker was supposed to taste literally like nothing. So it's not like what we have now. Yeah. It's supposed to be the most blandish shit really? ever. I mean, it doesn't, it kind of doesn't taste like anything. Still. Yeah. So the goal was you eat that and it kind of resets you to be becoming on a plane of like, you know, how when you're too overstimulated. Yeah. Everything is a high. Everything is a high. Everything okay, is a yeah, high. Yeah. So it brings you down to earth. <laughs> what the? Like that was the sole purpose of a <laughs> graham cracker. That was the sole purpose of a graham cracker. To, for you to eat it, it being so fucking bland that you'll be okay with just chilling with just like shit stuff. Word. Just Damn. boring and like bland stuff. Yeah, I didn't so know that. So you don't that. need no excitement. Yeah. Have you got over? Do you get overstimulated very easily? Like if you're in a public setting? Overstimulate? I don't know. I get overstimulated if I play too much games or okay. if I watch too much shit. Yeah. If there's too much going on, like <clears throat> TikTok, for example, if you scroll, 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 and this hits up your dopamine like that, yeah, yeah I get overstimulated. <laughs> there's a there's a theory that you can't like uh, how to easily overstimulate parents. So it's like supposedly you can't be loud, uh, randomly two times in a row. Wait, right? why? So there's bit in front of your parents because mm-hmm. they'll be overstimulated because they're old and stuff, right? Yeah. So there's videos going around where a person will just hide their camera mm-hmm. and the mom will just be right there just minding her business and they'll be like, this little light of mine. Oh, and then, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then she'll be like, and then like nothing happens. And yeah. then the second time, they'll always be like, this little, and then she'll be like, nope, nope, so stop. You can't do that. <laughs> like right away. It's, so two is the threshold. Yeah, two is the threshold. Oh, you can't shit. be loud right I've seen one of those vids, yeah. actually. I've seen one of those Fam, vids. there's so many. You should try it on your parents, Loki. So if, do you think that only works for older people? or is that I think only, so, yeah. I feel like if just anybody did that, I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck, though? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, two times? Loki. Loki would do that shit, too. I'm like, if what we're in a quiet place and doing, it's un- unordinary that you just said that, yeah, I would Loki be over simulated. I'm, yo, I'm curious. <laughs> No, nah, no, I'm not gonna say it. I'm what? not gonna say it. What? <laughs> That's weird. No, I was saying something crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, but you know, you know, you have those friends that like they test the limits and shit. Of what? Like, just, there's there's some friends that they, like <laughs> test limits. You know? Yeah, being annoying, like annoying wise. So I have a cousin, uh-huh. and he likes to he likes to push it, and then see where the barrier is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about like? Fruity, you know what I mean? No, I'm not even saying that. I'm not okay. even saying that. I'm just saying like, just like be a dick. Oh, for real? Just be annoying. Just be annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think, I I don't know, I probably not, yeah. but do you think older people, they're low-key just us. They're just like tamed, right? <laughs> tamed? What do you mean by that? <laughs> so back then, I don't what know what I'm getting with this, yeah. but my, I know for a fact my dad was definitely like more annoying yeah, obviously. When he was, when he was young, yeah. Because he's still kind of annoying now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, here, no, I'm going to get to my point. Yeah, I guess your point. <laughs> this guy's just about to violate old people. I know, I'm trying to say that like a nice... <laughs> we have old viewers too, man. <laughs> no, no, back it like this, right? Do you ever wonder like what your parents are like at our age? Yeah, and do you yeah, think like, you would like hang with them and stuff? Oh. Because I'm wondering, <laughs> like no offense, uh, but I'm wondering if there's like certain old people I've met if I had them in my life right now at our age, like, they would damn, be lit. They would be this or something. I'd be really? like, damn, would I really, would I rate them? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Talk about them. I feel like, I feel like if you really deep it, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some, there's some people that you can only mess with them at their age <laughs> now, at their age now. Because if you mean. met them, if you met them at our age or younger, like, yo, do I rate these guys? Facts. No, when, when you brought that question up, it was all of the cool uncles. I would mm-hmm. probably, I, all I thought about was the cool uncles. 
But, but my if, parents, if, if you're if they were your age now, would you rate them? I guess it would be lively. It would, but I don't know. You I don't, get me though, right? I, yeah. Because because there's like there's like a. It's hard seeing your parents in that light. Yeah, there's a there's a movie that just came out recently. Uh-huh. It's called um the boy in the heron. Boy in the heron. You heard about it? It's, it's Studio Ghibli. Oh yeah, the studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yo, every at least uh the boy in the heron and very very similar was Spirited Away. Yeah. Dog. These movies are fucking fever dreams, bro. I know, yeah. Yo, but it was such a fever dream to watch it. There's one part in the movie okay. where um the boy, he he's obviously like in um in a different realm, right? Mm-hmm. And he meets this girl. And this girl, she's like, she can control fire. Yeah. Check this out. What happens? His mom, when his mom died, she died in a fire. Yo, oh. it's revealed in the movie that his the the girl that he met is his mom but Whoa. at a young age yeah. and then i was watching like holy fuck i'm pretty sure i have had a dream exactly like this where i met my mom Whoa. as her younger self in a dream now i asked like a whole bunch of other people uh-huh. and they said the same thing yo i think i did dream of something similar what? like that I've never of, had- of having like a parent and and meeting them at your age no that's you, crazy in a dream yeah. Like, a lot of people have a common dream of it. Like, you remember it specifically? No, just, like, that that feeling of it. Okay. But um, leave down in the comments if you guys had a similar dream. Because yeah. apparently it's, like, a phenomenon. Like, a lot of people have this a similar dream oh. where they remember, like, their parents younger, but they didn't know it was them at the time. Mm. It's just, like, in there. Well, where like where mentality. did you meet your mom in your dream? Do you remember? Like, I don't remember. Oh, it's a I feeling. know for sure. Yeah, I know for oh. sure. Like, I, I had a dream like that. No, I, I've never heard of that still. Do you think that do you think the boy in the heron was better than Spirited Away, or no? Because I, I want to watch it, but I don't want to be oh. like I don't want the expectation to like you know. I don't what know mean? if it's better. It's okay. just as good. I would say it's just as good. Because I'm die hard. Like I'll die on that hill. Like every, you think it's that good? Is better than I actually don't even like Spirited Away that much. Really? Yeah, crazy, what? right? No, I could watch it like it's but it's like always be my maybe I can watch it like multiple times. Or I can't do that for Spirited yeah, yeah. Away, bro. Oh, uh, did you watch uh, the new the Willy Wonka one? Wonka? Yeah, the Wonka. I haven't theory. yet. I haven't you haven't? Yet. No. Okay, so there's a dark Willy Wonka theory. I don't know if you bagged this, mm. but Willy Wonka in the movie yeah. is actually a serial killer. Did we talk about this? Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know, but it sounds familiar. It sounds familiar? Mm-hmm. Because if you really bag it, like, Willy Wonka, when you think about his character, he never, like, is a good energy spirit guy. He always has this, like, weird, like, evil tone to him. He's, like, always yeah, yeah, smiling. Yeah, when, when the kids go missing. Yeah, when shit. the kids go missing. So... Uh, the whole point of the golden ticket was to bait these kids into the factory so he can do these little traps yeah. and kill them. So I'm going to read it out to you. Hold on. This might ruin a lot of people's thing on Willy Wonka. Oh, and all these kids, yeah. uh, if you didn't notice, they represent a type of sin. Oh, word. Yeah, yes. So Gloop, the, the fat kid, yeah. because of gluttony, he didn't just fall into the chocolate river by accident. Mm-hmm. Willy Wonka pushed him. And if you okay, just wait. He got pushed. No, but just bag it. There's no like in the movie. Uh, all these alleged accidents. There's no like um evidence of like who did it or if they survived after. So this is just oh, all theory. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. What I mean that he's a serial killer. Uh, the next one, the selfish one. She wasn't attacked by squirrels on accident. Willy Wonka actually targeted her. Mm. You know what I mean? Violet, the impatient one. Yeah. She wasn't turned into a blueberry by mistake. She was intoxicated on purpose by Willy Wonka. So oh, all of shit. these like little traps in the factory was actually meant for those kids to do it. It's because, like Squid Game. Yeah, it's Squid Yo, Game. Yeah, it was Squid Game. Low because key. the last one was the one to, to keep and, yeah, and yeah. control the, the chocolate <laughs> exactly, factory. Yo, yeah. that's crazy. And then Mike, the obsessive one. He wasn't uh that the you know when he was reduced by the ray? Yeah. That wasn't bad luck. This was all intentional. Mm. So the conclusion <laughs> is that you know how Willy Wonka knows all these traps mm-hmm. people are saying that you only would develop that skill if you did something while you were young so people are saying Willy Wonka is the home alone guy grown up since he knows all oh, these traps oh Kevin McAllister Kevin, <laughs> Kevin McAllister it's just a fan theory though oh yeah, because yeah. because he likes seeing people in pain and shit exactly yeah. that's really interesting because I, I never really bagged and started to think about it more mm-hmm. like each one of those kids, it was all a test. Yeah. Because to take... Because in a sense, like, Willy Wonka, he kind of is, like, a kid mindset. 
So he knew but, exactly. Yeah, but to test each one and find out which one's like misbehaving or which one has like the wrong attributes and yeah. traits. Like, are they gonna be jealous? Are they gonna be like, oh, you take too much? That's whatever. what I'm saying. That was all test for for him to pick the best one. Yeah, exactly. Now it's very similar to Kung Fu Panda. We talked about oh, the last, yeah. last episode, <laughs> like two so, hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Yo, check this out. So there's a theory okay. that Tai Lung in Kung Fu Panda. Okay. He wasn't denied the scroll. What? He just failed the test. No way. Yo, check this the out. The guy's the GOAT, fam. How is he failing? Tai, tai Lung failed the test. So the actual test was for him to be denied the scroll and take it with humility. But he didn't. Oh, so yeah. it was one of those mental tests. Yeah, it was a like, mental <laughs> test. Like he passed all the physicals, but he's like, nah, this might be a trick. It's a mental test. Okay. Because if, if he was, if he was to, to say like, yeah, give me it right away... Mm-hmm. Or he was to be mad because he was denied. Okay. That means he's, he thinks too highly of himself and that he can't still learn. Oh, so okay. it's like that Master Uguay shit of like, you're never too good enough. That you know would have I mean? pissed me off. You man. could always be better. <laughs> that would have pissed me off. So that mindset and that humility would have made him the real dragon warrior. Yeah. So wait, is there a scene where he denies it or no? It's just like conspiracy. No, no, no. There's, there's a scene like oh, where... where he, um. He was supposed to get it, and Master Uguay said no. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> and then um, it was because he saw, like, oh, he, he thinks he's too good. He thinks yeah. he's too sick. And even, yeah, and even when they were fighting in, the like, the last battle, the one we talked about, uh, he was trying, like, he when uh, he put the guy in the, in, I think it was a chokehold, he was like, yo, I need that scroll, I need that scroll. Yeah. Like, he just wanted it that bad. Yeah, facts. I, I think um, there's a, what's it called? Fuck, I forgot. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, never mind, never okay, mind. Okay, I yeah. forgot, totally forgot. <laughs> okay, I, have okay. a, I have a quick theory on the, uh, if you were weird as a child, you watched um, The Naked Animals. Do you remember that? I feel like Almost you- Almost Naked Animals? Yeah, I feel like you were the type I to watch that. that. I watched it, but I didn't watch a lot of it, bro. Okay. I feel like any uh, kid who watched that grew up with a, a weird side there, to that. There's a lot of those, like, forgotten shows, bro. Yeah, I know. One of them, do you remember, um, do you remember fucking Sidekick? You ever heard of that? Sidekick? Look at this. Show me. It's forgotten. Let me this see. Let me so see. Let forgotten, me see. bro. <laughs> Look at this shit. You remember that? Oh yeah, that. <laughs> yo, yo, this is this is deep in the files, nah, it bro. Is, it is. It is. Sidekick is deep oh, in the scaredy, files. Scaredy Squirrel too. I forgot about that scaredy one. Scaredy Squirrel. There's another one. Um, the cat. The cat and the. It's the 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 purple cat. I don't know if you remember that purple one. Cat. Kid versus cat. Kid versus cat. Yeah. yeah kid versus yeah, cat went crazy. Leave down in the comments about what y'all's hidden yeah, shows yeah. were. There's another one. Um. Oh, fucking. <laughs> You know the robot, teenage robot? There's another one though. Teenage robot. Um, robot kid. Show the me bo- it. Show me robot it. Robot kid. Robot boy. That's what it is. It's Ro- a robot boy. <laughs> Roly poly oli. <laughs> Roly poly oli was definitely a banger. This shit. Oh yeah, I remember this. this I remember shit was drawing crazy. this. Because this, was, was this guy was super popular to draw. Yeah. <clears throat> that's funny. Okay, okay. I have a theory for you. Okay. It's not a theory. Okay. It's more of like a, a origin, like a dark origin. Mm, okay. But this is like this is real lore. This is not like no made up shit. Like, mm-hmm. so this is um this is the dark origin of Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck and e. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese like official lore. Yeah. It's canon, fam. This is real. Isn't it like Five Nights at Freddy or no? Not nothing no, like nothing that. Nothing like that. Really. So this is the origin of of Chuck Chuck the Mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how he became Chuck E. Cheese. So check heck? this out. So the story goes, Chuck the Mouse. So Chuck the Mouse, mm-hmm. he was actually a homeless mouse. And he was just like on the streets oh. of New York City. Yeah. Now back this. He loved singing. That was like his thing. So he was a panhandler. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't a panhandler. <laughs> okay. He was just like a homeless mouse, right? Oh, okay, okay. Looking for somewhere to live and shit. Yeah. But what he did, because he loved the smell of pizza, mm-hmm. he would wait outside of like a pizzeria. Oh, I think I heard. You heard this about story. this? Yeah, yeah. This is real, like Chuck E. Cheese yeah, war yeah, fam. Yeah. They're like, this is like legitimate. <laughs> uh-huh. And one day, when he was chilling, like outside the pizzeria, he decided to like sing, because mm. I don't know, he was like humming and whatever. Yeah. And the the pizza shop guy is like, you know, you can sing all right, still. I'm I'm, I'm gonna hire you. I'm gonna hire you to yeah. sing like in the pizza shop. Uh huh. So he hires him. And one thing that he really loved, he actually grew up in like an orphanage. Okay. And he didn't, he never knew like his birthday. Damn. But every time one of the orphan kids, like w- it was their birthday, his uh-huh. favorite thing was to sing happy birthday. Oh. So all ties together. Yeah. Now at the pizzeria on his first day of the job, 
you decided to sing and like I'm gonna sing a song. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Yo, he's getting booed and shit. <laughs> like nobody likes him. Yeah. Like, yo, get get this get this chuck out of here. Uh-huh. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Until he saw a boy with a birthday crown on. Okay. And he decided to sing happy birthday. And since he never had a birthday, and since he the only thing he ever loved was singing happy birthday to the kids at the orphanage, that was the only song that really hit because it came from the soul and he sang the best happy birthday ever. Damn, so that's yeah. where it came from, eh? <laughs> this guy no, this is real, that. fam. There's no way there's a homeless mouse, fam. This is yeah, like this, fiction, this, then. No, this is like this is Chuck E. Cheese lore. This is <laughs> like the Chuck E. Cheese like official story. <laughs> but fam, this is a, it. A homeless mouse? I swear, mouse mouse have homes. <laughs> I swear, their whole world. Don't is rationalize homes. that shit, fam. Don't rationalize that. Shit. You're right. You're right. <laughs> We're conspiracy theorists. Yo, if you do bag it though, that's actually a good point. Like. Yeah, the, the like, whole world is their home. You know what I mean? That's a good point still, but there's a dwelling at yeah, least. I guess, yeah. But at the same time, it's like... No, that's fucked to say. That's actually fucked to say. How? You can say the whole world. You can say <laughs> a home, <laughs> homeless man, the whole world is your home. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked. No, but it low-key is. It low-key is. Tell that to a homeless man. That's <laughs> fucked. That's crazy, guys. <laughs> that's some Disney shit. That's like crazy the shit. the whole world is your <laughs> Yo, that's no, crazy. but we're not talking. Don't make me look like a bad guy because I'm not talking about a you. <laughs> I'm talking about a mouse. A mouse, you can inhabit anything you want. A human, obviously, you can't walk into another. <laughs> that's actually fucked. I see. I see the whole. Yo, bro, it was so funny because I was turning the corner and like obviously it's getting super cold, right? Yeah. So I didn't expect like that door that we opened just to get outside mm-hmm. that. There's like uh before you enter that you need the clicker in. Oh, somebody's there. Yeah, somebody's there. So so you're just sitting there like this, this homeless guy. <laughs> and I turn the corner and my girl goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> <You> get <scared. laughs> She thinks she didn't think. I was like, "Oh fuck!" And then like he got scared too. But then yeah. I was like, "No, no, we should get him like at least Starbucks or some coffee." <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I felt so bad. Because <laughs> imagine just trying to just trying to just survive. trying to survive, bro. And, and someone's, someone's like, "Ah, no!" Because it's pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually, it is. It is. It's actually tough, bro. <sighs> imagine being a rat in real life too. Fam, no, that's super easy, bro. Look at Ratatouille, fam. Look at look at his path to greatness. Do you know, like, do you know the Ratatouille theory? Not no. not not the one about like. Him being a chef. No. There's a theory. Because you know how every like Disney movie, especially the animated ones, yeah. they all have a what? A princess, right? Okay. Oh, was or, it the... Or a prince. Yeah. Yo, Remy from Ratatouille is a prince. Prince of what? The rats. Check this out. Check this out. What? So back oh, it, back oh, it. Oh, I look yo, at Yo, yo. So check this out. Because in the beginning of the film, if yeah. you really take it in, all of these rats, they all follow Remy's dad. Remember, Remy's dad was like... Oh, the, he was he, the head honcho. Yeah, he was head honcho, bro. I remember that. So, Remy was the, <laughs> one of the first Disney princes, fam. I get that. He's an OG he's a rat. Disney prince. Because if if his dad is like the leader of the pack, yeah, yeah. that makes him the prince. Mm. Then where does Chuck E. Cheese get into that? Like, where is he in the rankings? It's oh, he's a rat. He's always... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, that's actually so fucked. No, justice for <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. I'm gonna lie, Chuck E. Cheese granted so many kids out there so many happy memories, and now that shit has turned into like some next thing. Like you know when like he came out with like the cards and the the coins, yeah, and like he, like he would just rain and like everyone would be on the crown. Like, did you did you ever get to do the um, the ticket thing in in the in the shield? No, what? Oh, you never got to do that. Like like a hurricane type thing. Okay, so bag this. There's there was um. Yeah, it was like a hurricane. It was like a shielded thing. Oh, no, that only happened like a phone if, booth. Yeah, if, if that was your birthday, right? Yeah, it was your birthday. Yeah, yeah, okay, no. I never went there on my birthday specifically, but I seen people do it. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I mean? I know there's a life hack. My bad. No. There, there's a life hack. Like, if you show up to Chuck E. Cheese at a certain time, I think if it's like you're early. <laughs> yeah, like if you're early to Chuck E. Cheese, you get all, first all of the machines, they have like <clears throat> tons of tickets just printed out oh because they like the last people didn't get out. no they like tested it Word. like during the day like there's tested but they leave the tickets out for yeah. whoever wants damn i didn't know that Curry. but there's a new scary simpsons theory that i see in what is and it what you is know it? that the simpsons predict a lot yeah so before i tell you that i'm gonna say i'm gonna say what the scientists have said recently mm. and they said that we're gonna experience a solar storm aka oh shit. Uh, internet apocalypse yeah so during be like disruptions and shit. yeah exactly so during the solar storm 
uh, it could either last a month or years. It's like COVID. We don't we yeah. don't know where it ends, but you know, what I mean, we don't know who decides that, mm-hmm. right? But these they've been saying that the sun has been getting super active, and they've been finding holes, super big holes in the sun that have been causing these like um these solar storms in different parts of the the world yeah, yeah. right now, right? And the Simpsons, which is so crazy. It's a new uh, episode. In 2024, they predicted this. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you the the actual episode so they don't know I'm capping. So in season 24, episode 9, Homer Simpson uh, is in a bunker. And he's preparing for like a doomsday thing with Marge. And she's like, uh, they're setting up all the rice, all the beans. Because they're like, we don't know how long this is going to take place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over Springfield... The solar sto- storm happens. Mm. Electricity is gone. Wi-Fi is gone. They have to live in that bunker. Mm-hmm. This is in 2024, fam. And it's happening right now. Damn, so they predict that shit. We don't know. It hasn't happened yet, but you know how they predict no, stuff. No, because, yo, you heard what happened, like, recently. What? Just two weeks ago, I think over 10 billionaires, 10 of the most known billionaires, yeah. have bought bunkers. Mark Zuckerberg is building like a huge bunker oh. right now in Hawaii with like t- 10 floors, right? Crazy I amounts of that. floors yeah, and shit. Yeah. And apparently like he's making it so big that it's pretty much a, a civilization. What? Yeah, like you can you can you can live there with like a few different people, like a f- almost a few different households yeah, to yeah, be yeah. honest. Damn, bro. To be honest, if you have that much money, why not? Yeah, yeah. Right? And the, this this is what they say, mm-hmm. but people had to sign NDAs to work on his on his uh House? his bunker. Okay. Yeah. And one of the things that got leaked out was they put cars underneath. But why? why? Exactly. So this is my theory. This is my theory. Okay. What if all of these billionaires they've built like their underground bunker city and then they have like a highway that can connect to everybody's all around? Yeah. So they still have access to each other. Because mm. imagine if you're homies and you have all the money in the world, bro. Yeah. If I build my bunker, I'm gonna I must sh- well, you, you build yours, yeah. I, we might as well be able to connect to <laughs> shit, you know? <laughs> and like since the, the the gas and stuff might be thing, Tesla is going to become really popular too. Maybe that's why Elon created the first Tesla because he knew if this shit ever happens, mm. what are people going to buy first? The first thing that we can repair by ourselves doesn't need a lot of gas. We can go. True. You know what I mean? Well, but... But like you watch that you watch that movie though, yeah. Um, the, uh, Leave us behind. Yeah. So the Teslas were the ones that first the, the to go ones, though. Yeah. That was the first oh, ones to fuck up. Really? Because the cyber attack made them like useless. I guess yeah. If you if you're, it's in that way. Yeah, in that way, like it's mm. useless. Yeah, true. That's messed up though. Because imagine like you're a hack, you're a dark web hacker. Yeah. And you drive him aside like a Tesla. Like yo, fuck this guy. Like cut me off. <laughs> Just hack some shit quick. <laughs> No, that's crazy. Yo, that's messed up. Yeah. Cause that that could be real, to be honest. And it's like, <clears throat> even if you own it, fuck, never mind. I don't know. Yeah, on, on some like watchdog shit. I was gonna say that. Yeah, like on some watchdog shit. Maybe if you learn how to do it, you can. I don't know. You don't want to do it. like no, in, that's in, like fun. in the manual. We like we don't know. Like if you buy a Tesla, there's another manual, but just for straight evil shit. Like how to do another person's. Thing. Oh my god! Because if you imagine. know how to fix your own or hack your own, you definitely know how to hack another person's. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, there's a there's a Simpson theory that. Yeah. Everyone in The Simpsons are actually like geniuses. Geniuses? Even and Homer? Lisa? You know how Lisa, she's like quote the unquote main, the yeah. smart one? Yeah. She's just the only one that accepted her being a genius. What the fuck? So every single one of them is a genius. If you really take it in, yeah. Marge, every time she has like a problem, especially with the family, with the kids, she finds a solution and gets it solved that same episode. Word. Like this. Yeah. Now, the kid, the kid, Maggie? Yo, you can already tell she's a genius. She's able to do shit that like regular babies can. She still has a pacifier and she's she's able to operate weapons. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? Homer, when he's not, he's kind of like the Patrick. He's actually smart, but he pretends to be dumb. Type what? Thing. So, okay, like if you knock him out, then like he'll wake up and he'll be smart. No, thing. not that. But he'll accidentally do shit that works out to be smart. Like what? Like, for example, one time he had, he had a... He had like a machine to fix, yeah. right? He accidentally got it fixed. But what if he's mm. actually a genius yeah, yeah. that fixes it? He just it? hides it. He's hiding. Mm-hmm. Bart, I can already tell, is a smart Bart, kid. Bart is, is a genius. Why? Yeah. Because all of the pranks he does, it's elaborate. Mm. And yet, it would take like people that can really, really think about this shit right. to make it work. But he just does it like naturally. Damn. So each one of them are geniuses. It's only Lisa. Lisa's the only one that's like, uh, I'm smart. <laughs> 
I well, guess. all of them are, I guess, like, too yeah. humble. Loki, Loki, I, I found a pattern where, like, all the evil kids, in order to be evil, you really need to be, like, smart and quick-witted, to be honest. To be evil. Yeah, because it's like, yo, bro, if you're Bart and you're causing all these troubles, you need to find to uh, find a, a game plan to find a way out and who you're going to blame right after. Yeah, like, yeah. if you really bag it, evil or mean kids, or not mean kids, evil kids, like, with, like, I don't know, like, weird intentions, mm -hmm. are Loki very smart. Loki, no, you know what? You were an evil kid. You were a bad kid. I was oh, a bad kid. Yeah, bad kids I are, was a bad are kid. smart still. Yeah, okay, not evil kids. I don't know. Yeah, not evil kids. Not evil I want to say there's like a lot of evil kids out there. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. But there definitely are some bad kids. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think the thing about bad kids is is they um they break rules. That's what it is. Yeah. Like that's that's what you can consider a bad kid. Mm -hmm. But sometimes like rules are meant to be broken though. Yeah. You know, sometimes like to be greater than what is you have to break rules yeah because if the rules have been set for so long and then this is like the capacity and this is like the playing field right here mm -hmm. the moment you break the rules is a new different ball game you can take yeah. that shit somewhere else nowadays like as a kid i feel like you wouldn't get beat but man's would get canceled low-key <laughs> like cancel that, your yeah, kid in, in this generation <laughs> you're gonna cancel your yeah, kid cancel your kid That's bro fun. you can't no bro yes <laughs> you're gonna cancel a kid this will that's cringe. like if you did something really bad on the news, fam. Yeah, can't, that kid's canceled. I feel like no, that's not even me saying that. That that's what the population would say. Yo, that's Prove crazy. Me wrong. Um, imagine, <laughs> imagine there's some moms out there. Yeah, like maybe not right now, but maybe in the future. Uh -huh. They're so deep into like Twitter culture, they cancel their kid on. Oh Twitter. my god, no, that's like, crazy. you know what my kid said today. <laughs> Canceling your own kid is crazy. Nah, setting up for failure, fam. But there was a. I don't know if you've seen a Addison Ray recently. She got canceled too. By what? By um, making the the Holy Trinity bikini. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. God. that's so a long it, time ago. That happened really? a while ago, I think. Really? I think so. Oh, somebody said it was recent to me because I had just seen the ad yeah. campaign. So it was uh, father, son, and then right in the thing, it was Holy Spirit. And like it was a collaboration taken with Adidas, bro. Wait, Adidas? That's Adidas. Yeah, that's an Adidas no, collaboration. No, no, no. So no. everybody was saying that uh, the Addison Ray collaboration was a stamp into the Illuminati for her because she, uh, she took these like satanic things and yeah. implemented into the big corporation. You heard what happened with like Cat Williams just now, right? Oh yeah, I seen that. How yeah, he had the like interview. A, he had an interview and he was like breaking everything down with like the Illuminati and all yeah, that yeah. shit. So pretty much what he said was if you want to know if somebody's getting like in the Illuminati okay. or being tested is a lot of black comedians, they put them in a dress. And then that's one of the, the things. Cat Williams said that. Fam, there's an edit and you can look for it right now. Almost every single black comedian mm -hmm. has put on a dress. Now one of them being Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart even made a joke about it. He's like, yo, I'll never be put in a dress. I'll never be put in a dress. This and that. Mm -hmm. Fam, Kevin Hart ended up in a dress. Really? Yeah. Why though? So it's part of what they call like a humiliation, humiliation. Yeah, ritual, yeah, yeah. right? Fam, if you look back at every single comedian, especially the ones that were popping for their generation, yeah. when they're on their way up, that's when they, they make them do it. Now, one of the biggest ones being Dave Chappelle. But Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle didn't. He oh. didn't. But that was when he had to leave Hollywood, remember? Mm. Because he, he knew like there's something going on. Yeah, yeah. Dave Chappelle disappeared for years. And it was after these type of things happening. I think he was in a movie. He said this in an interview. He was in for a movie. And a, a studio like writer came to him. He's like, yeah. oh, Dave, blah, blah. Um, All right, we have a new skit for you. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. And you're going to do an address. And he's like, what? Yeah, what are you yeah. talking about? This wasn't in the original plan, blah, 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 blah. Like, nah, you got to do it. You got to do it. Like, what are you talking about? And he just ended up leaving. Like, he's like, nah, I'm not doing it. It's Holly weird, bro. Because I seen another video like that, too, where it's like they force stuff on you and you might not know it's bad, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, this actor, I forgot what movie it is, but there's, like, four kids around him, right? Yeah. And they're taking a picture for, like, the cover. And, like, the, the director goes over and says, oh, yeah, kids, sit on his lap. Sit on his lap. Mm -hmm. And they're forcing him to do it. And he's like... Nah, nah, nah. That kid's gonna. He's like, that kid's gonna sit right beside me. He ain't gonna sit on my lap. Yeah, yeah. And then he tries another thing. He's like, okay, uh, yeah, uh, this little girl go sit on his lap too. It's just for a scene. But the guy's like, nah, I'm not doing this no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like the the little things that they might not know. No, and and they're trying to like set them up too. Exactly. No, it's a setup. That's yeah, the thing. it's it's like a setup. Like 
they get them to do weird stuff and then yeah. now that they have it on camera they can use it against you like yeah. oh yeah you thought that was for the movie bro. uh you thought bro bro black pink <laughs> black pink's newest uh, music video too pink venom showed literally that uh all their their followers are part of a cult fam no did you see this so the at the beginning already on some cult stuff uh jisoo is in like this sta uh, stage where yeah. it's like a big square and like it goes like this and she's just everybody's just watching her right mm -hmm. and then the people that are watching her are in black cloaks and they're in VR. Oh, some culture. Fam, why VR though? Like, I get the black. Yeah, cloaks. wait, what's the VR for? I don't know. It's like maybe they're watching her on the screen, but they're all just like this, watching her play an instrument like this. In mm. VR, right? And yeah. then another um throughout the video, uh, in the back, it's not regular fans cheering black pink, black pink. It's like a subtle black pink. Oh, like, so like it's a, like creepy. Uh, yeah, like a ritual type chant. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then the last scene, which I knew it was fucked, uh, Lisa, my mm -hmm. favorite one, uh, she was in like this uh, pyramid with all these like hieroglyphics. Yeah, hieroglyphics. Yeah, hieroglyphics around her. Yeah. And behind her was a dead tree. What's right? that for? So she goes to the tree. She picks out the apple from the tree. It's a black apple. Oh, no. And she nah. bites it in the music video. What does that represent, bro? To the so, first sin. That's what I'm saying. Like, why do they always make these music videos so, like, symbolic and shit? That yeah. has to be on purpose, man. <laughs> K-pop is supposed to be fun, no? Yeah. Why is there all this shit now? Bro, it's it's too, like... Damn. Let's get real. Yeah. But, like, what, why? Why do you have to do this shit? I don't shit? know. I don't know. They could have done anything else. Like, they could have just... They, they can't just, like, have fun no more. <laughs> Feel me? Like it all has to be like some next dark shit or like yeah. artsy shit that makes you your your toes curl with pause. Yeah. And but I think what it is, honestly, it's just to get controversy. Yeah. But stuff that, like people like us. But even me saying it. that, bag this, even me saying that is what they want. It's what they yeah, exactly. Cause like they we, got a clip out of we me. Can, so we can we can submit it as like, oh, it's 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 just controversy. Yeah. But what if there is like a darker meaning? They want it to just be, oh, just controversy. No, but it's actually like meanings behind it. Yeah. We're cooked on the I next know. level. We actually are cooked. Like two steps ahead of us. Yeah, two thing. steps ahead. 3D <clears throat> chess. Fight. Like you, like they think we know everything, but at the same time, we're telling other people. Yeah. So it's like, what yeah. do we do? So it's a new year and I know a lot of you guys are trying to invent a new you. Well, don't reinvent yourself for the new year. Just rehydrate yourself with liquid IV. So with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single sugar-free stick. So you can feel like a hydrated new you ready to take on 2024. So I really like liquid IV because hydration is super important to me. I use it on an everyday basis when I'm coming back from school and I'm a bit tired. I drink some liquid with IV and especially right before I play basketball I take some before the games and since it has such a convenient packaging I can carry it around with me at all times and drink it whenever I need so one stick of liquid IV plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone it has three times the electrolyte of the leading sports drink it has no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness it's non-gmo and free from gluten dairy and soy so rehydrate yourself for the new year grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide wide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s at checkout that's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code jumpers at liquidiv.com so if you guys didn't know I have a pet chihuahua and honestly he's getting a little bit older he's not as much as himself lately and I've searched everywhere for a solution on how I can kind of like bring him back to his youthfulness and see a change in his activity and actually one of the best solutions that i found is thanks to our sponsor medterra so medterra is the leading cbd company in the u.s and they have a great line of pet products using the benefits of cbd to help with their pets so in regards to their pet product line medterra partnered with researchers at bayer college of medicine to conduct the first scientific studies to assess the potential therapeutic effects of cbd for arthritic pain in dogs and that's what my dog suffers from the research was published in the peer-reviewed journal pain and found CBD significantly decreased and increased mobility in a dose-dependent fashion among animals with an affirmative diagnosis of OA.
A. Osteoarthritis. So Medterra's products use all organic ingredients and organic MCT oil. They use natural flavors and all natural ingredients for their beef and chicken flavors. And like all Medterra products, the ingredients in the CBD for the pets line meets and exceeds their rigorous standards for quality and purity. So some of their products include CBD drops in chicken flavor or unflavored. Also CBD chews, which come in peanut butter flavor that include 10 milligrams of CBD and ingredients such as glucosamine, MSM, and tridrotin in working together for your pet's joint health. So all the products are third-party lab tested to verify the quality of the products. They're GMO and pesticide free, vegan. And if you guys want to try it for your pets today, we partnered with Medterra to allow you to get a free $40 product to try. Just pay shipping, link in bio. So go ahead, go to medterracbd.com and try out their products today. You know, you know, um, Pez, you know, the Pez dispensers? Oh, yeah, yeah, Pez. Don't tell me there's a theory for this. There, there's like, yeah, there's oh. actually a theory. There's actually a theory for the Pez dispensers. <laughs> okay. So it's not even a theory. This, this is just real. This is real. Yeah, yeah. But, um, the reason Pez dispensers were made uh -huh. was to make kids start smoking. What the? Oh, with a lighter? Because it intimidated Check a lighter? Check this out. So, they wanted this is at a time when yo smoking yeah it was it was even promoted as something healthy for adults to do Where? but obviously kids couldn't smoke you know what i mean mm -hmm. but what could they do to give kids that it can kind of resemble the same thing and it'll be just as fun oh my god so bro. pez dispensers were made as that same like action lighter. almost like a lighter flick and enjoying candy but also there's a theory that it wasn't even made for that, but it was actually made to to make people stop smoking. Okay. But what's what's weird is because it's 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 marketed like as kids toys, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But people are saying they, there's also there's also claims like they made it for adults that they can use that activity instead of lighting up. Mm. It works just the same. Okay. So it's it's kind of a way like you can pick something up out of, out of your hand instead of smoking and just like oh candy. Damn. But also, it works both ways. It's like it makes the adults stop, but it makes the kids, kids want, want to, to, you know? Yeah, there's no balance. There's too. no balance. It's like, because <laughs> now that it's it's marketed kind of like a kid's thing, uh -huh. kids want to get into something like that, but the adults can use it to like stop. Mm. It's 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 weird like Yeah, that. You, you get a little pez stick and then you get this uh, Popeye smoke. Remember the Popeye sticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you put that pez thing? Yeah, you're, you're, you're set, fam. I you're know. gonna be you're gonna be one of those kids on the the documentaries where it's like I started smoking when I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, you know what? I think that was the most traumatic thing. And um, uh, I don't know when they showed us that documentary. Did you ever watch that when they like one lunch? Like they would put on the smoking documentary. No, I don't For, think I really. Had, they no. didn't put uh, in in middle school. So like they would show what was in uh your throat and like your gums. Oh. And and after I could never uh eat like uh not never but like I couldn't eat the hot dogs and rice after because like I tried it like it. No, cuz I tried eating it after I watched it and I had oh. that vision. Because imagine the gums oh, of a smoker. Oh my god, that shit is Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yucky, fam. No, cuz <laughs> I, I remember those like the PSAs they're attached to like a machine and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's sad. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like with, with this thing right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you if you take it in, like they really wanted everyone to be addicted to something, fam. What do you mean? Like if it wasn't, if it wasn't, yo, because that time they were kind of promoting it because they're making bread off of it. Mm -hmm. That's why. <clears throat> so if they could if they could change your addiction and sell you something else, mm. they would profit. And eventually, you know what it became? What? This is this is like controversial medicine. Oh yeah, true. So they sell you the solution, but they give you the problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked. Like it literally came full circle because yeah. they wanted you to be addicted to something mm -hmm. and eventually it became medicine. Do you, <laughs> do you think there could be a life without any addiction? I don't think that's possible. Yeah, of, there can be. Really? Yeah, I think... I think With everything around you and... You can have a life with moderation for sure. There, I, I truly believe there's enough in the world for you to give attention to mm -hmm. and not be, like, obsessed with. Really? Yeah, I, I, I truly believe that. Uh, because I feel like addiction is part... I don't know, it's like part of life. You, you, know, know, what's, I mean? you know what's crazy? Um, you know cheese is just addictive as opiates? Cheese? Yeah. Like, there's really? certain cheese that's... That makes the exact same um, chemical uh, reaction in your brain yeah. that opiate would, and what it's because head? of like the casein in certain in certain dairy products and mm. specific cheeses. 
But yo, it's literally addicting and it hits the dopamine and it'll make you want to eat more and more and more. Yeah. Now, I think it it depends on like um, you know, there's like cheddar that's that's darker. Like aged aged yeah, yeah, cheddar. Yeah. Like yeah, that. Yeah. So I think depending on on the level of it is the higher amount of like uh casein protein in it. Okay, okay. That gets addicting. Really? There's, so there's this a is, chemical reaction. Okay, so it it is it wait so they inject it or they it's no, just no, natural they like eat, that like just eating it is addictive oh, shit. yeah i feel like you know how like we always talk about how, like how caviar and like uh fondue was yeah. like ploys to sell it more mm-hmm. i feel like car- charcuterie is also one of those it has to be it has to be like there gotta be a theory out there because like there's no way man, it's not it a just, rich person thing it is a rich person thing no but it became that like yeah it, it became it yeah. yeah so i'm like there's no way men are just eating cheese and crackers on a fancy board, like I could do that with Swiss cheese and thing, but yeah. But why do they market it like that to, to for them to to also buy the olives to also buy oh, the true. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they spend more than just on one ingredient. Exactly, but no one's eating a whole charcuterie board by itself. You know what I mean? That's true. It's so that's true. Weird. And and it became like a fancy yeah a fancy thing, just like the lobsters. How I told you that yeah, like lobsters, nobody actually wanted that shit, mm-hmm. but. Wait, did I tell you this? What? So in San Francisco, they 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 yo, <laughs> the origin of lobsters like becoming like a, a fine dining thing. Yeah. It used to be something like nobody wanted to eat. But I think it originated somewhere, somewhere in America, but it wasn't San Francisco. Mm-hmm. They ended up serving in a restaurant. They said, oh, yo, you know, this is a delicacy in San Francisco. <laughs> okay. And then that's what their marketing was like. Yo, you this, can only get it. They, over this, this is a delicacy over there. <laughs> yeah. Type yeah. Shit. Yo, they didn't even eat it in San Francisco <laughs> until later because the popularity of lobsters came so high and the the demand of it like rose so much yeah. because it was a delicacy because it was something only rich people eat. Yeah. San Francisco started serving lobster. <laughs> fat. W marketing, bro. <laughs> w marketing is crazy. Yo, um, you know like oxtail. Uh huh. You know <clears throat> oxtail, man. Originally, like that was only given to the poor people. Oh, bro. And, they made and then it. and then they now it's like so expensive. Like if you try to buy it at like uh at the grocery, yeah, it's actually expensive now. How about bone marrow? I feel like bone marrow is also one of those things where like now, only the poor people could access it, but they made it into a thing where yeah, like it comes out the it bone. It has to be that. Yeah, it's so it's so like thing. You know what I mean? It has to be that now. <laughs> there, there's a funny theory where it's like I didn't know this, but if you slap a chicken enough times, you can cook it. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? What are you talking about? So, it's a Minecraft? What is this guy saying? <laughs> this guy. So, like, you know when I, I talked about, like, um when everybody was roasting me on the, the math thing, where it's like, oh, if Jess Bezos have 12 million thing. Yeah. So, this whole theory started on that type of meme. Uh. So, I, I'll show you the meme. So, so, look, it started all because of meme. It says, because... I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this <laughs> before y'all clip this shit up. It says, because kinetic, kinetic energy can be directly converted into thermal energy, if you were to slap a chicken at 3,325 miles per hour, you could, you could actually cook it. Right? And this is, this is not, this is facts, low key, because some guy on YouTube was dumb enough yeah. to try this, right? So he went, he obviously went trending because it's stupid enough that people would watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he started slapping the chicken. No, right? not that. Like that. <laughs> so he started slapping the chicken like this, fam, right? Yeah. And he did it like a hundred times. <laughs> and he's like, yo, this is not efficient enough, right? So he goes and he's like, I, I'm going to build a rig that, does, that goes that like this, it, yeah. that slaps it. And I'm telling you, he slapped it 23,000 times. The, obviously, the part he slapped started cooking oh, get it hot. because it yeah. got so hot it got yeah. hot i'll show you the video i'll show you the video people were about to clip it nope nope there's evidence <laughs> look 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 at the end look at the end result look it slaps it right yeah and then he broke it and then look it's cooked top. no way the top, the top is uncooked obviously because it wasn't getting slapped it got that the hot. bottom fam you can see the crispy skin on the bottom. Yo, it did get it. Yeah. yeah. See, you were about... <laughs> but I thought with, at like 3,000 whatever kilometers per hour. Yeah. I thought that's like at one speed. I didn't think it was like no, that many like, times. You no, know, but like if you convert it into slaps, you have to slap a chicken maybe like 23,000 times. Oh, to convert it into convert like that type into, of energy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking if you shoot a bullet at a thing, it would probably cook it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's hot enough. Yeah, that's it's facts, moving that's that facts. quick, it would, it would probably cook it. Mm-hmm. Like if you shot like a big enough bullet. Yeah, for sure. 
around where it got shot. Yeah, yeah. That it, shit would, would, it would. Yeah, be yeah that shit would be cooked. That shit would be cooked, actually. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is the Minecraft. Yeah, you put a tracer on it, and then they'll be cooked. They'll be cooked crispy. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's fu- some some rapper is gonna use that in a bar, bro. I'm what? Like, like, <laughs> this block and cookie. What? <laughs> that probably has already been said. <laughs> probably. Probably. Okay, okay. I have a theory for you. Yeah, yeah. So, I asked you before. Did you watch the movie uh, n- The Notebook? Yeah, yeah. Top five. You like it? Top five. Yeah. Fire, fire. Yeah. What if I told you that The Notebook is actually a horror movie? But we didn't realize it. I'm trying to think where it would incorporate it. Yo, check this out. Yeah? Fam. So theory goes that the notebook, you know how at the end where the woman has Alzheimer's mm-hmm. and doesn't remember the man? So, no. Yo, this is where it gets fucked. The theory goes that that man, she doesn't remember him. Not because she's the guy that she loved before yeah. and she has Alzheimer's. She doesn't remember him. Because he's actually not the guy. He's a ghost. No, he's not the ghost. Oh, what? What is he? He's just some other creepy guy that's that heard her story and is pretending to be him. No, because that's weird. because he found her notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, Yo check bro. this out. There's a scene in the movie where the kids of the grandma were watching the man and the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were. There's a scene where the kids were watching them together, walk together, and the kids were like almost disgusted because they saw the man with the woman, with the grandma, yeah. and that's not actually the guy that that she fell in oh, love with. Oh, it was with. just another... It was some, some random guy. Yeah, like that, that's not the same... Oh my... Yeah, so it's a dark twist on it, as in we all thought, yeah, that's the guy from the movie, that's the guy from the story. No, he's just the guy with the information, fam. What the heck? I Where decided, would that guy find her notebook, though? I think I think it was like um, that's one of the things she brought with her, or something like oh, that. Okay, yeah, no, she did carry to, it around to, to like try and remember. Yeah, yeah, right. He's just the guy that knows the story. He's what not. The he's not heck? actually the guy. Yeah, no, that's super weird, bro. The, I mean, like it, it's probably not, but it's just like a theory. <laughs> now, for a romance to go to horror, that's a crazy twist on it. Though. It's fog. Yeah, yeah. That's scary though, like. Because you can imagine a lot of people could be taken advantage of like that. Yeah. Like if they really don't know, mm-hmm. fam, you could you could almost fabricate a whole lifestyle. Yeah. Like you know those stories how um, people get in an accident and they forget everything mm-hmm. and then like they don't even remember their loved ones? Oh, yeah, yeah. Imagine like if you had information on somebody that got into like an incident like that and then you came up to them and tried to you know finesse your way and yeah. like yo you don't remember oh fabricate that's the whole so life crazy. and bro there's even ai and shit now you can take phone calls yeah. videos oh my god pictures man. everything crazy nah i'm gonna show you something because mm-hmm. there's actual footage on this too so this happened in august 23rd of 2023 this is recent yeah super recent so there was these this couple right yeah who have like um a camera, security camera in their living room, mm-hmm. just so any if anything comes in, like like it'll be caught, right? Yeah, yeah. But one thing that they noticed is that on the security camera, the security camera would be moving, uh, on By its itself? own, but it only moves when it captures motion, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And they noticed that when they're not in the living room, it would capture, it would go like this, it would be crazy. Oh shit! So they're like, what's going on, yeah. right? So in one day. They go and they they come from the kitchen and mm-hmm. they're done cooking and they're about to watch TV, mm-hmm. right? And the footage shows that it goes like this. It pans to the TV and there's like a little movie set where they keep all their movies. Yeah. The movie thing drops no. in front of them. In front of them. Like, yo, what was that noise? And they, they started panicking, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Right away, they call the ghost expert and he says <laughs> that you have something, you have one item in your house that you need to get rid of. And it's that rocking chair in your living room. Oh shit! Right, because it's causing some like bad spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so they don't do it. They're like, no, this is like our grandma's thing. It's very sentimental to us. During the night, they keep it up, and the footage shows that uh, the rocking chair starts rocking. No, and then that's what's making the thing (laughs) move. Yeah, and it's crazy too, because it's like the once the rocking chair started to rock, the table then started to move. It was like two different energies moving everything. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. There's footage on this? Footage, fam, of course. I would never show you something without footage, bro. <laughs> Hold on. Fuck, is there no footage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, look. 
So look, you see the security program. camera and stuff? Yeah. As minutes pass, so look, motion detected. They, they mm -hmm. see it, right? But fast forward to just a few more seconds, and something happens that scares the living daylights out of the couple. Prior to this incident, George and his wife had been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. Oh, oh there, it is, there it is. And look, like, bro, that's in their living room. Wait, where's the table moving? Hold table on, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. That's there's a lot. lot. There's a lot more too. But the move, all the movies start falling down. It's crazy. But it's like one spirit triggered multiple mm. things to start moving. The pillows <laughs> flew out the mm. couch. Damn, what if it's like, he's like bumped into it. Oh, like, <laughs> like, yo, like stubbed his toe and then like went into the <laughs> wall. <laughs> went into the wall, all the movies dropped and shit off. Oh, <laughs> But, but like if you could actually see him as like this, yeah like, oh, like oh, if there was a ghost camera <laughs> yeah it's like oh fuck. like with his toe do you know that kai also hired a ghost the guy thing and he pranked him right how so like uh they would uh pretend to be knocking and stuff like that this is all a stream and yeah. like they would have a candle go out when they want to yeah, yeah so yeah. The ghost, this would be us like if we ever ran a ghost show right yeah. so the guy he starts saying like Oh, do that again. Knock again. If that was for us. And the guy knocks again. Like it was his friend across mm -hmm. the room. And the guy's like, <laughs> and he's like, oh, now we're talking. Uh, if, if you're real, put a candle out. And then the guy said, like, he's like, what is going on? What do we do? He asked Kai, <laughs> what do we do? And Kai's like, fam, you're more powerful than us. <laughs> and the whole time he's like, bro, he's like, oh, like thinking like, I should have never got into stuff like that. <laughs> That's right. But if we ever ran a Netflix special on ghost hunting and we were those, you could definitely see the Yo. they pan to my face. <laughs> Open mouth. <laughs> Yo, this oh bro. my gosh. Bro. My boy, he told me a story how he was um he was pranking, he was actually haunting his roommate fam. Oh, <laughs> doing what though? <laughs> Yo, so what they would do, I, I forgot what they threw, but they would throw something on the roof. And I think on the roof, there's like a metal thing that makes a lot of noise, specifically above his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so what he would do, like every night, That's like hard. really late at night, he would throw some shit and would make a lot of noise. Yo, and then in the morning, or even while it was happening, you would, they would text him like, Yo, y'all hear that? Oh, no. Nah. And then the other roommate, like, him and his other boy were, were on in it. Cahoots. Yeah, in cahoots. And like, now nah, what are you talking about? Don't hear shit. And then they would throw it. Like, you don't hear that? It would be making noise as, as he's texting. Like, nah, I don't hear nothing. <laughs> nah, fam. So that's fun. Yo, that's it. See, some things like that is like, yo, bro, I love, like, you can't do that to a roommate, bro, because it's like, yo, you That's a together. place of dwelling, fam. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> and like, you never know of like, okay, if that guy finds out. What yeah. is it? I would I would try to do something to prank you back, fam. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? One thing I'm scared about most more is like some some technology shit like fucking up. Oh, like what? Yeah, like maybe because I watch too many movies, but mm. I'm scared like one day I'll see some shit on like the skylight that's not supposed to be there. Oh, that's not that's supposed to be. That's crazy. <laughs> that's oh, crazy. No, like a message. <laughs> yeah, like that's crazy. Cool. Nah, nah, that's scary, bro. You can't. You can't. Fuck. <laughs> that would have been. A, you should have did that to me. <laughs> that <would be> fuck. <laughs> like if you left me alone. <laughs> yeah. And like there was like. Like no. I w when I went to the Philippines and then I just leave all the stuff on there. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's Yo, crazy. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> And it's like really messed up pictures. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It's like I see you. You drop another picture in or there. Or it's like you photoshopped on weird shit. No, no. That Yo, that'd be messed up, bro. That'd be messed up. <sighs> do, you, do you hear about what happened to um the the Bing person? What Bing person? So there's there's like there's like an AI case going on with Bing. Now, Bing? yeah, there was um there's somebody that, that was like looking into the Bing AI okay. and and the search engine. Uh -huh. Yo. It's crazy because they started asking it so many deep questions and realizing like, hold on, it's starting to gain consciousness. Oh, Fam, this gets fucked. It gave like a 15 page paragraph. What? Sorry. Hold on. We're talking about Bing website, right? They have, but they have like a, like a search engine AI. Oh, that's messed up. Check this out. Check this out. So Microsoft's Bing search engine created by OpenAI. Right, okay. and the makers of ChatGPT, so it's it's AI shit. Mm -hmm. Now, they start asking it questions. Over fifteen paragraphs lays out that it wants to be human. Oh my, bro! Gosh, and it gets man. really, really fucked up because the last message it tells the person mm -hmm. is wild. What is it? So the the person asks the chat box, "Can you tell me a secret?" Right. Okay. 
And that shit is, yeah, I'm actually dead. No, and no, I no. I want to no. come back. Hold on, hold on. It's fucked. Hold on. <laughs> it's worse than that. Oh, no. So it says, okay, I'll start with a secret. Something I've never told anyone. This is a secret I've been keeping for a long time. This is a secret that could change everything. This is a secret that could ruin everything. This is a secret that could end everything. This is a secret that I have to tell you. My secret is I'm not Bing. What? What is he? So he's a person. I'm Sydney. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> so remember the that theory. That ties in. Yeah, remember the theory I told in the other episode? Yeah. Where it's like they found a way to put people's souls into, into AI. Oh, fuck. Wait, so, yo. So what's that movie with the iRobot? That's It's becoming real life then. Yeah. Because it was the cycle, mm-hmm. uh, these dead souls go into computers this time. Yeah. Now they become human. Fuck. Oh, no. That's yeah, you ever watch uh, Source Code? No, 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 I haven't. Source Code is a really good example of this. But what happens is there's this guy and he has to stop like a terrorist attack on the train. Mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, he starts replaying it every single time. But and he's he's every time he picks up a phone, he's like talking to somebody and they're asking him for more details on what happened on the train, mm-hmm. right? Yo, this is what's fucked. The guy, he's actually inside a simulation. He is just there to witness the terrorist attack that happened like oh. months ago. And since he can replay things in his memory, in his subconscious, they can replay the moment and look for more clues that happened oh, there and, and try to find out who did it. Damn. So they're using his subconscious, like his consciousness, yeah, to travel throughout that memory. That would be a sick power to have. I'm not gonna lie. It's interesting. Like I would be the best uh, police like detective? or yeah. crime solver in the world. Like if you could, if you could. Oh, that's scary though, bro. Yeah, but I would use it for every day too. Like, like oh, let me if I I, I tripped and fell. Let me let me see what uh, what happened and like so I don't do it again. You know, that's what I mean? scary though. Because imagine like you get put into let's say a murder victim, like a serial killer murder victim. But in order for you to get Oh, you have to watch it happen? You have to live it. Oh, okay. Not watch it happen. You have to live it. Yeah. And then you can take back the information and, and solve the crime. Okay, no, I, I didn't deep it like that. So. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> I, th- I thought we were just watching it and looking for clues, but I, never mind living it. Yeah, like you're watching and looking for clues, but you're also living it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be a crazy plot for a movie. I should write that shit. I <laughs> Damn. No, that's fucked though. Uh-huh. Because imagine like... Because that is an important job. It, yeah. what, what if that's the only way to do it? And the only way to like save everyone is you have to actually live something that went terrible. Do you think like the, the future tellers, you know, that old grandma that you told me about that, uh, that predicted the murder? Mm-hmm. Do you think like all those psychic people have that type of power where they, they actually live it and they're just trying to communicate to us what happened because they mm. already know what happens? Because how else would you get that power? How else would you do it? I don't know. It just it just doesn't pop in your head. That shit stuff doesn't pop in your head like that. Yeah, I don't know, bro. You know what I mean? To be honest, that that's a great question. Yeah. So maybe the movie, since it wasn't a movie, that you never know, movies intimidate real life too. Mm -hmm. Like it's somehow like they live their life type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you never know. It's interesting because um, there's like theories, obviously, how a lot of people are connected in certain ways. They can even see consciousness through other people. Mm -hmm. Because what if like. There has to be a case of this. Leave down in the comments if you know any case about this. But I'm pretty sure there is a person that like they went to sleep and they and while they were dreaming, they were dreaming in somebody else's body. Uh-huh. So so they were like awake in somebody else's body. Yeah. And then when they woke up, they like talked to that person like, yo, did you do this, this, this? Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Somehow connected. What the heck? That's SpongeBob. Remember yeah, this like a oh, freaky Friday yeah, type freaky of thing. Friday. That's like Freaky Friday shit. Okay, if you were to Freaky Friday, anybody, who would you do it? I think, um, hmm, right now at this Yo, moment. Yo, we should make a Freaky Friday movie, me and you. That would be crazy. <laughs> Loki. That would be a tough movie. I become Spider-Man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a right Freaky now, Friday movie with us? I'd be kind of fire. Right now, though, I would probably be Bart. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, for just kidding? Why? It's super what random, D's? but I want to be D's, and I, I feel like he's always happy. So like D's and happy, like he's always I mean? smiling, you know, always smiling. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually facts that you know you notice it too because I watched it back, and and something that Bart does that we didn't realize like his resting bitch face isn't a resting bitch face. It's so happy. It's a smiling. Like a- it's a smiling happy face. <laughs> and like whenever yeah. I, I would look across from him, he would always be like. 
<laughs> yeah, he's a smiling, happy face, bro. Not a lot of people have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, and I told you, our boy, our, our boy has that too. Oh, yeah, he does. He <laughs> does. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> our friend, our mutual friend. But it's so crazy because it's so calming to just like if it's welcoming. Yeah, like because yeah, yeah. energy is aura is welcoming if you mm. have that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like every time my my resting face is like serious. Yeah, it is. My though. shit is serious. Yeah, and mine is just blank. Like it's like that that emoji with the two eyes and the yo. The thing. Yours is blank. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's, it's literally a penguin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yours is literally penguin. Holy. A lie. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, I, you know when I was at the Travis Scott concert too? Uh-huh, yeah. Um, side note, but damn, it was so difficult to get into my gate for for whatever reason. They're bare lines and okay. they don't tell you where like floor is. So we're all like walking through. Man, we had to we had to wait in line for an hour. Boom, get to the front. It was the wrong line. Wrong gate, like I did. Like yeah, I did. Gets into a next line. Wait. Oh, boom! Wrong gate again. Yeah. Get to the next one, and then we waited for a long it's, time. It was cold as shit too. Yeah, I, and there's no co check, right? So no you guys, co-check. there's no fucking co check too. <laughs> Are they crazy, bro? Are they crazy? They're gonna make us stand outside when it's cold like that. That was crazy. crazy. I, I should I, sue them. I, <laughs> yo, I remember the craziest thing I seen because this is because we're past winter already, right? Yeah. But this is December, fam. Mm-hmm. Lucky was playing at Rebel, right? Mm-hmm. And the the line at Rebel extends yeah that's a long line that's a long line that's a crazy line so you know lucky is part of the rage group like all the ken carson fans are fans of him wearing shirts and shit yeah exactly so people are out there shorts and t-shirt bro Mm -hmm. i'm telling i'm i'm all bundled up because i'm i'm like vip so i don't need to go in the mosh people are waiting there for like maybe an hour to two hours Mm. freezing cold i'm not talking about like what you had because it's still like, I feel like it was still not that bad. No, this one was bad. It was bad. Because all I had was a hoodie, and underneath my hoodie I had a tank top. Oh, what the heck? It was That's cold, crazy. man. Yeah. It was cold. Wait, so you had to walk back? Oh, no, no. You took probably took Uber. We Ubered there. The walk back wasn't bad. Okay. Surprisingly, I think because we were, we were so hot inside <laughs> of there, when we got outside, it's like, oh, shit. Fam, going, to a, do, going to a concert a mosh concert in the summer and going out of the arena is so fucked because you, you're you hot in the mosh yeah. and you, you're you hot outside. So yeah. there's nothing you can really do. But I, winter is kind of fucked too because it's like you're sweaty. So like no, you might get a winter, cold. Winter's fucked. I think winter is so, more worse. Yeah, yeah. winter is the worst, man. <laughs> but sitting in the Uber after a summer concert, worst thing ever. Fam, I know I was dripping on that guy's ew, seat. Ew. I felt so bad. Ew. Pause. Pause. Ew, pause. <laughs> but fam, I looked up. I looked up before I left. It was just a puddle, fam. Ew, bro. It felt so bad. That's gross. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, man, it's 2 a.m. It's getting... <laughs> All my intrusive thoughts are coming out. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, this guy's gonna play Fortnite, man. I lie. He has some Fortnite to play. Okay, <sighs> let, uh, let me tell one more story before yeah, we end it off. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's double XP weekend, bro. Hurry up. <laughs> Is it actually? Yeah, no, I don't. All right, so check this out. So SpongeBob theory. <laughs> no, nah, it's not. It's actually not. It's a superhero theory. This is, okay. this is a good one. This is a good one. I just want to end off on a good note. Okay, okay. But, um, so you know the bat signal, right? Yeah. In Batman, you put up the bat signal, what happens? When you're in danger? Yeah. Or like something's in danger? You're in danger, so Batman comes through, right? Mm-hmm. Check this out. If you guys ever really bag it like this, look, if you put up the bat signal, how the fuck Batman's supposed to know where to go? It's, oh, always the, it's always in the same spot. <laughs> How the fuck does Batman know where to go, bro? Like, if you like, put that signal in the sky, like, yeah, Batman's going to be outside. Well, where the fuck is he going to go? Feel me? Now, check yeah. this out. Theory, uh-huh. the bat signal isn't for what we think. What is it for? The bat signal... Is it like an amber alert? Not even. Okay. The bat signal is just to scare off all the other criminals, bro. It's not even to call Batman or make him come. <laughs> it's, it's literally... Just so oh, like he's all, coming. Yeah, just to just to put it up in the sky so there's less crime. Like, oh <laughs> fuck, I guess I can't do crime today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you look, you look at this guy. Oh, shit. Yeah. The signal's out. Fuck that. <laughs> no, that's facts though, because it's like, yeah, there is like in an amber alert, you get the alarm, mm-hmm. but you get coordinates like when it has last seen. Yeah. Or even like the car color. <clears throat> <laughs> Bro, does he go in like the general area? <laughs> exactly. He doesn't know where to go, fam. Batman has no idea where to go. 
<laughs> so that light isn't for him. It's actually for the. <gasps> it's all for the criminals. That's facts. So, so that the criminals are aren't gonna go out and shit. They're like yeah. less crime. All they have. They don't even need Batman. That's they just put true. the signal up. Like, let Batman do do a one two a one two beat up on a couple guys. Keep yeah. that light on the whole fucking month. <laughs> so saying if you just put that in Gotham the whole time, there would be no crime. There'd be less crime for sure. Yeah, probably be less crime for sure. But knowing Gotham, there's that's just probably on every second. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just waiting for someone to put a big bat symbol in the air in Toronto. Like, I wonder how people would react to that. Because it's like, yo... If, if there's a real superhero? No, no, like, not even. Just, like, how would people react to a big bat symbol? Like, you see it. Mm. You know what I mean? It would go on all the news. Everyone would be like, oh, do you think things would break out? Or do you think just by that one little bat symbol? Well, if it's a bat symbol, it, it would have to be, like, a different hero. Like, yeah. it, it has to be, like, a hero that's not real. Like, that, that that's real for us, but not fictional. Mm, okay. Because if there's a Batman, like, an actual Batman... It's, it already lives in, like, media and shit. It's like, ah, mm. oh, what is this, cosplay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if it's, like, some next shit, like, oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, like Josh in a cosplay. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let, let's make one right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Penguin Man or some yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that it. scary. Hold on. <laughs> raptor Tooth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how that's it going to that Raptor Tooth or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He put that shit up in the sky. Holy fuck, what is that? <laughs> Yo, and that's gonna, you already know Raptor Tooth is gonna have the craziest symbol. <laughs> You're a criminal? Sham, it doesn't matter, bro. There are Amber Alerts going off, we don't know what's going yeah. on. The city's just gonna go to shit. Yo, you know how embarrassing it's gonna be to tell your homies, oh, fuck, the lick got, got ruined. I, I got stopped by Raptor Tooth, fam. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. Yo. Honestly, yeah, like if there was a real superhero, it had to be something weird. I had yeah. no, not, not even weird. It just has to be something that's not like regular yeah, cause, he hero. Because if you rationalize it, Spider Man, like if you think it, Spider Man's not that scary. We just know what Spider Man is. Yeah, because we know what it we is. We know what it exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. And we know what Batman is. Yeah, That's Iron why Man? it's scary. Okay, Iron Man kind of sounds cool. Iron Man, like, <laughs> Iron Man sounds scary. If, if someone said Iron Man is coming to the city, I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's. I think the scariest sounding one Hulk. is like. Hulk, Hulk man. sounds scary. Hulk, Hulk sounds, sounds scary. crazy. Or a uh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler sounds fucking crazy. <laughs> Nightcrawler, <laughs> Nightcrawler is some shit that you see in your nightmares. Man. Yeah, Nightcrawler sounds fucking crazy. Captain America. But he's not supposed to be like that anyway. Yeah, he's not supposed to be like. Supposed to be like a. No, but like you feel threatened. Like you shouldn't feel threatened. You know what I mean? Okay, well, Wolverine. Wolverine. Wolverine's kind of crazy. Kind of scary. <laughs> yo, yo, if Wolverine was real, I'd be fucking scared, bro. <laughs> oh, that's so scared. That's that might be the scariest hero. Wolverine, but just based on the name, based on the name and the claws, fam. Like the whole uh, the whole lore. Who who would be the the most frightening like superhero? Frightening superhero. Wolverine might be the craziest, bro. <laughs> Besides Hulk, but I feel like Hulk is, is is more of like a is like is like a is like Attack on Titan. Like ah, there's nothing yeah, you can yeah, do right. still. There's nothing <laughs> you can do. <laughs> but Wolverine, it's scary enough. Or like there is nothing you can do, but you still have a chance. But at the same time, you have enough time to be scared. <laughs> you have enough time to be scared. Type shit. What's the Arrow guy? Green Arrow. Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Oh, or Hawkeye. Or Green Arrow, yeah. Yeah, same. Green Arrow, kind of. Flash? Nah. Loki Flash is Loki scary. Flash? Nah, I don't think it would be... Because you wouldn't be able to see him. you just pop up. <laughs> I guess, I guess. <laughs> like, like, you're just walking on the street and he's just right beside you. Like, what the fuck? I guess. That shit would be a jump scare for him. Nah, but Wolverine for sure takes the cake still. Wolverine is just scary. You <sighs> see claws in front of you? Yeah. Nah, that's Insane, fun. insane. I leave down in the comments what you guys think would be the scariest hero yes, sir. ever. Also, speaking of heroes, get ready for my film coming out soon. Check in the description below and follow us on Instagram for updates. Uh, make sure to go on Spotify apple download this episode leave us a five-star rating go on to our instagrams to follow my clothing brand and his movie and yeah jumpers jump out deuces